Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Lit Code. In this video, we are going to learn one of the super cool feature of Playwright that is skip authentication. So if you go to the documentation and here if you find this like authentications and here we have different ways to handle it. So one is this like automate login that is what we are going to learn. So basically you can enter your credentials and you can log into an application and you can store the cookies that we can use it for like another uh, login without doing the login that means we'll save the cookies and we can use those to reuse the sign-in state so that is what we are going to learn today and we can do this in two ways one is using like auth generating the json authentication json file and another one is using the session storage so if your application works based on the session storage you can use this particular thing uh, maybe i will demo this in another video Today we are going to learn about the uh, using the cookies file okay and there is also another way to handle the multi-factor authentication but it is not recommended to perform like multi-factor automation with I mean multi-factor authentication in automation but if you want you can go with this but again this is not a uh, very reliable solution you can read the documentation they have also mentioned the same okay so let's go and learn this before that why we need this so consider that you have like 100 or 200 or 1000 test cases so when we do the automation and if your application works based on the authentication so of course we have to do the um, like enter password username and we have to do the login so this will be like for your each and every Test cases of course we use the before suite and we can do the login once and we can carry the user throughout the um, session or throughout the test or even we can use like before test um, our before method based on the test and implementation you have but still we are just doing the login like for each and most of the test right so if you want to skip that we can do that with the help of playwright very easily of course we can achieve this with selenium as well but in playwright it is very straightforward and of course we can generate like multiple authentication for example let's say that we have like admin account and then we have like user account so both the credentials will have like both a different ui right so based on the test we can reuse different users authentication state as well and definitely it's going to save much time because we are going to skip few actions that will definitely save a lot of time and there is also a disadvantage in this so for example like it doesn't work on all the websites or all the website implementation so it depends for example personally like our let code website is implemented with the help of firebase authentication where the same concept doesn't work but it works on like google or twitter or any other uh, authentication page okay so it depends on the implementation as well you can uh, try with your application and be cautious about the expiry because we are going to use the concept of cookies and cookies always comes with expiry so make sure you are going to uh, see that as well so some cookies will be like for like 30 minutes one hour or some even like one two or one week or even a month so based on your application you have to find it out you can ask your developers they will help you to get it out okay so i hope you are able to understand why we need this and how this is going to help us to do the automation more like save time by skipping the authentication so the coding part is very simple it's just two lines of code so here we can take our simple demo so this is our uh, book cart application I'll just click on the login and here I will enter my username password I click on the login so once I do the login once I complete the login I will get the cookies and I have to store it out so here you can see like we have the same steps and here I'm just printing the username and then uh, I have wait for timeout just to show you that our script is running uh, okay let me comment it out for now okay so i'm going to generate the auth file once we do the login please remember once we do the login then we have to generate the uh, auth file so here i can say like context dot storage state and then i can say like um new storage state 
option dot okay it should be like new browser context dot store state option dot set path and here we have to give like path dot get and i'm going to store it in my project level so i will just give it like auth dot json without any folder name okay now if i go and run this let's see what happens so it logged in and it was really quick so here you can select we got our username as auth20 that is what we are passing in the credential as well now i have generated the auth file so i can skip this step so i'm just navigating i'm going to navigate to this particular site and i'm expecting autony to be printed okay so i'm just skipping this particular steps okay now of course i have generated the auth so i don't need this but somehow i have to set this authentication file so that i can reuse my credentials right so that we'll do within the new context it should be like new browser then followed by new context option dot storage state set store state using the path and here we have to give the path dot get then followed by auth dot json okay so it should be spelled correct of course yeah that's it okay so here we have generated our authentication file and we are going to reuse that okay so here we have to select within the new context we have to say new browser dot new context option set storage state path and this is my path okay now if i go and run this it will be very fast but just see the console output so we are expecting this to be like autony that is what we get got okay that means like you can just generate generate the authentication file only once and you can reuse that in your page whenever you need it okay that's it very simple now how do i generate multiple or let's say that i want to do the login as soon as i do the login i want to use that for my uh, i mean as soon as i do the registration script i want to use those credential for my login script it's very simple like here here it will be your registration script once you're done with the registration you just store the this guy and then you use this in your login script that's a very simple thing you can try it out if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment i'll be happy to reply okay so that's it very simple thing uh yeah i hope you got the context um else do let me know in the comments Shut up, boy. take it growing up ain't easy too many things to do weekly too many thoughts to think deeply too many thoughts to be sleeping yeah oh my god i'm not eating i feel so empty i'm receding and all of my friends are misleading All of these posts and the lives are leading Yeah, oh, no way I ain't gonna stand for this